guys, Aris, Hardware Busters International. Today we, uh, we will run together a test, a fun test on the long wind machine. I will show you the whole procedure from start to finish. Some parts uh, we will skip ahead to not be as boring as they are. But anyway, the first thing uh, I need to do is to install the fan on the fixture. I had to make some extra holes here because uh, the holes were for 120 millimeter fans and not 135 and 140. But okay, this was not so tough. Uh, depending on the size of the fan, you have different fixtures, testing fixtures. Okay. Installing the fixture on the chamber. There is also Velcro to have all these levers uh, straight. Uh, as a safety precaution, let me use it. Okay, now you cannot undo the levers. The next thing is to select a connection. I have a two pin fan from a PSU here, so I will use that one. Okay, I need to undo the PWM connection that I had. Black and red only, positive and negative. Okay. Now, we want to measure speed, right? Okay, everything you want is here in the toolbox. Longwin provides everything. So thoughtful of them. Thank you. Almost there. We did it. Install this onto one of the fan blades. Okay. Longwin provides a laser tachometer for the cooling fans that don't have that information, speed information. I'm gonna adjust that. Okay. Let's turn on the machine. It needs compressed air. It has uh, two temperature sensors here. Uh, T ambient and T wet bulb and uh, I need to have this piece of cloth uh, wet for TW to be in order. Now the next thing I have to do RPM mode optic since I will use the laser it's on I target it okay System is zero. Uh, I have also waited half an hour uh, for the device to warm up. This is what Longwin uh, suggests. We've, I've always have to make sure that uh, temperature uh, ambient is higher than the temperature of the wet bulb. Everything is off, as you can see. Uh, mode to PC. And I start the software. System auto zero. It takes 180 seconds. Fan testing part two. Take two. Uh, I have opened the program. Outlet chamber. When the fan is blowing in, you use the outlet chamber. When it's blowing out, you use the left chamber. Inlet chamber, as Longwin calls it. 
Also, there are some differences uh, how you put uh, some cables, uh, some hoses. Anyway, uh, next from here, constant volt. I can set a starting voltage point and the step and the stop voltage point. I am going to run full uh, speed all the time, constantly. It's easier, it's faster. Uh, once I have more time, I can try different uh, voltage settings. I can also have PWM control, constant RPM. Uh, CPK takes lots of hours. Constant point something and operation point check. Anyway, for the moment, constant volt. Okay. The fence name uh, goes here without any empty lung spaces. Okay. Hong Kong 135 millimeters. Uh, this is one of the most uh, popular fans in uh, the PSU industry, Hong Kong fans. Okay. And we run the test. You can hear the fan starting. I have attached the laser tachometer to get speed, the fan speed here, because it doesn't have an uh, RPM signal. It only has two cables, the fan. Positive, negative. It doesn't have an RPM signal, which is uh, usually the yellow cable, a yellow cable. From here, from the instruments, I can see the fan speed here, voltage, current, uh, ambient temperature, wet bulb temperature, and from here the, uh, the various stages of the testing. RPM mode is set to optic, since I use an optic uh, tachometer. PC control mode. In the first uh, test, why I said this is part two. In the first test, uh, the fence cables were not connected uh, correctly, so the fence stopped, suddenly stopped during testing. Uh, this is why it might be fully automatic, the procedure, but you still need to supervise it and uh, know what you are doing, of course. And you have also, uh, you also need to be able to interpret the results, to see if the results are okay, if something is out of order, if you need to rerun a test and all this stuff. But uh, all this comes with experience. The more uh, testing we do, the more experienced we will be and we will find uh, solutions to any problems that will arise. We will be able to interpret better the results that we get, the PQ curves. But in general, uh, the machine, I could say that it's kind of idiot proof. It shows you what you need to do. I select fan performance curl, FPC. When the fan is blowing inside, you choose the right direction. And when you have the fan uh, pulling like this, air outside, you install it on the left side of the chamber. I'm going to use the outlet chamber next. Uh, here, constant volt, PWM, constant RPM, I can do constant volt and set a start, let's say uh, 5 volt, with a 1 volt step and run several different tests. I'm not going uh, to do that. I'm going to run all fan testing at 12 volt at maximum speed, for the moment at least. Okay. Fan speed, here. Volt, DC volt going to the fan, amps, 0 0.4, 12, 13 amps, 
and now fan testing has begun. The whole uh, procedure is uh, automatic. You don't have to do anything, but you have to make sure that uh, everything goes as planned. Sometimes I had some errors in the software during the end, most likely. It has to do with the Excel application that it uses to pass through all the results. And uh, it takes about five to six minutes for a complete uh, fan test at one voltage setting. I'm at 12 volt right now. You can see, now it applies force. It blows uh, air on the opposite direction of what uh, the fan under test is blowing. This way it stresses the fan. Here you can see, I have M1, M2, MT. These are the different uh, nozzles that uh, the machine has. I taped uh, the top side to not have, to only have the fan, nothing, uh, no void at all. Uh, the fan that I used is a Honghua fan. It's uh, one of the most popular fans used in PSUs nowadays. Everybody, almost everybody uses Honghua fans, so it is good to have some results finally about that. Else, I don't believe that only through reviews I will be able to repay the cost of this machine, which uh, cost about 62k dollars, give or take, including shipping and uh, customs fees. The good thing is that uh, everything is fully automatic. It doesn't take long for each test to finish. Uh, there, there are some tests that can take up to 2-3 hours as long win stage. But in general, uh, a plain fan test for PQ curves takes about 6 minutes with a single voltage. If I use more voltage levels, let's say 5, 6, 7, 8 volt, different voltage levels, apply that uh, with 5-6 minutes per voltage level. For the moment, I will uh, test all cooling fans at full speed, 12 volt. Why is there not a volt here? Where? Here. Bolt missing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we need to find that bolt. Bo told me that fire found one bolt, and probably this is the bolt that he found. Oh, okay. Yes. Hmm, yeah, indeed, it's missing. I will have to ask him where he put that bolt. Hopefully somewhere inside. Yeah, that bolt is missing. Hey, he found one bolt inside the chamber. Okay, uh, we're at to almost five minutes, about one, uh, one minute or more. As testing proceeds, uh, you see here the results. Uh, static pressure and uh, CFM, yeah, quite high CFM with this fan. It's a strong fan, 105 CFM, yeah. This is uh, the strongest fan that I have uh, tested so far with this machine. And here is the static pressure, 3.55 millimeters AQ. Yeah, this is quite high. I have tested all processing done. Now, now everything is finished. And we have this Excel file here with all testing. This needs to go here. Enders. Yeah. Here we have all details. The performance report is here. Fun PQ performance test report. From here alone, I can see everything. Maximum pressure, maximum airflow. Uh, the higher the airflow, the better, but it needs to be combined with high static pressure also, if the fan has to face any obstacles. If the cooling fan is used in a chassis, 
you just need high airflow. But when you have the cooling fan and you have something blocking uh, the air going out of the fan, you also need high static pressure. And by something I need, uh, I mean a heatsink, a uh, radiator, an all-in-one radiator, and pads, electronic pads. For example, inside the PSU, the fan is mounted like that, and the fan has to cool the area inside the PSU, which is in most cases densely populated. So, high static pressure helps the fan provide better cooling. Any questions from you? <laughs> in the comments section. Uh, this is the new long wing machine that we bought. This was uh, an example of how we will run the test with it. And uh, yeah, that is all. Till the next video.